Hey, they're back again so soon, you see. But yeah, some uh, information that I'd like to share with you and uh, it's just some a testimony, I suppose. Um, the Lord said it's easier for a camel to go through or thread through the eye of a needle than a rich man to inherit the kingdom of God. It's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to inherit the kingdom of God. Also, Jesus says, um, you must become as a child. You must become as a little child in order to inherit the kingdom of God. Yeah, Jesus said this. He said these two things. And so I'm going to try to shed some light on this and meaning about this, um, about these they're not parables, they're statements that the Lord Jesus made and, um, you know, whether you agree with them or not, um, it's very, very interesting because what Jesus is talking about is a mindset. It's not really a philosophy, but it's a mindset that you must have. Like a child has a very simple mindset, if you like, and yet they're not not classed as simple minded but a child you know is taking a lot of information in but but children have a sort of a, a very simple sort of a faith you know it's a black white issue if there is a God yes no most will say yes there is a God most children and of course uh, the, the statement about the rich man he gave parables about that Lazarus and, and the rich man you know a parable and um, you know to think about if a person is rich and that it's going to stop them from getting into the kingdom of God. Why? Because they might trust in their riches, because their life might be all about building up riches, their life might be all about chasing riches, their life might be all about admiring the things of the world and, and, uh, and sort of judging people according to their salary, according to their social standing, etc, etc. And so what my friend saw the other day was um, a hotel and they, they, they had, uh, what, what they're starting to have now here is um, these sort of fire gauntlet things. I, I'm not really sure what you would call them but they're quite tall and, and they, they have flames of fire coming out the top of them. Instead of having a lamp, they have these sort of... Um, large lamp-like things with flames of fire coming out the top which uh, I think their uh, gas is, is used to supply the flame at the top. I'm not really sure if it's gas or um, it's some type of oil, you know, because we know that uh, the menorah, you know, the true menorah in the temple, uh, that was filled with uh, a type of olive oil which kept burning continually and that was part, part of the priest's duty to uh, keep that that oil in the lamp, you know, again the parable of the oil, you know, the, the five wise virgins and the five um, foolish virgins, speaking about the Holy Spirit as well there, the Holy Spirit being the oil, all connected, you see, you should get some meaning from this, <laughs> hopefully. Um, you can just say this prayer, Lord, I, I just uh, bind up every demon that's uh, stopping me from understanding Jesus' words. Um, please give me understanding according to uh, Isaiah 11, chapter 2. Pray for the spirit of understanding to be poured out upon me this morning. In Yeshua's name, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, it's nice to pray before and after you read the Bible or you know, you're watching Christian videos, otherwise you might get lost, you might, you might feel as if uh, I don't really understand what this guy's saying, just quoting Jesus Christ. So, what she saw, she was passing this hotel, and there was these like fire gauntlets, I'm going to call them, whatever, I don't, I don't know, and they were all lined up outside this hotel. And it's the first time that uh, she, she saw uh, this, and she was staring at it and she was wondering, what? I've never seen this before. And she heard the voice of God telling her, um, uh, you know, what, child of God, what do you see? You know, and she's looking and uh, she's seeing 
maybe limousines pulling up outside and um, taxis and so on. Very well dressed people, well to do people getting out of these cars and going into this building, you know, through through the entrance to the hotel. And it just struck her that, um, you know, the uh, Word of God which says, um, you know, when, when Jesus talks about riches, riches of the world and, you know, that a rich man can't be saved, it's easier for camel to go through an eye of a needle. And she just saw these li these people literally going into sort of flames of fire. I think that I think that while she was she was looking at it, she she just saw more flames, and as if like they were just going straight into hell. And uh, I was wow! I said wow when I heard this testimony because I had a dream that that same night, which was uh, I think a night or two ago. And I'll try and describe the dream to you which should tie in everything which I've, I've just said before. What it was, um, it was about six, seven storey buildings. They were square and uh, there were like uh, apartments or there were like uh, penthouses. They were quite large and what happened was like a family and children took uh, an entire section of, of one storey and then another family and an, another family right down through all the say there's six, seven or eight tower blocks and then I've seen houses which were maximum two stories and just some bungalows I suppose and just all spread out in this land and they seemed to still be building them, they seemed to be like just building them and families were coming in and staying in them and uh, I observed this and then I actually observed the, the large tower blocks they slowly disappeared into the earth. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like one of these ascent holes where the earth just opens up and everything just disappears. It was almost like, um, well, a softening of the earth, let's say. And these these buildings just just slowly, slowly disappeared into the earth. Now, some of them weren't s swallowed up completely. In fact, uh, I think. The, the one that was swallowed up the most only had maybe one story left so that so the highest story was just coming out from the ground maybe the first story itself was there some of them maybe there was two stories left and so on as far as I saw none of the the houses were touched it was just these big tower blocks and what the Lord impressed upon me is that these penthouses which they were staying in the Lord really impressed that these were rich people these these were rich people that, that were staying in the, in those tower blocks. Now you you'd assume, like in the natural, that um, it's not rich people that that stay in tower blocks here in the UK. Normally it's uh, council estates or whatever. Except that these were penthouses. These were much bigger than, than normal. So these would cover maybe four entire houses from from a, a council block. You know, usually they get about four different. Or four or five or six different houses within a floor in these tower blocks, but this was just a, you know one family within one of those. But it was impressed upon me that the the rich would would not make it through what is to come. It was something that was coming, and the rich would sink. The rich the rich would not make it through this, which was about to come. And then I suppose I was translated to be inside one of these tower blocks and what I heard was mostly children's voices mostly children's voices in fact I can't really remember that many adult voices to, to mind but I was really shown one of the, the children that were there his parents had died when um, he couldn't find his parents they'd actually died when this uh, tower block had sunk into the earth but what this child was doing he was crying out to Jesus Jesus save me that's all he was doing. Jesus save me. I heard people saying, Jesus save me. And it was children, mostly children. Which obviously, you know, the opening statement on this video was that you must become as a child to inherit the kingdom of God. And so that so that was my dream. And uh, so what happened? Um, I prayed about it. I felt as if um, I should go out and do a bit of uh, preaching. Go out and 
do a bit of music and a bit of preaching, which I did. And, uh, you know, we discussed what what the Lord had been telling us. And um, so when I started, I played a bit of music to start with. And there was praise and worship. And it was a uh, Latin American, or it was like, what would you say, a, a Hispanic American woman who, who came up to, to me first. And she smiled and she says, I only have this. I only have this. She was American and she only had one dollar. She had American money with her. And she says, it's okay if I just give you this. As you can see, this is a dollar. Federal Reserve note. And um, it's only out for, we're only out just for over an hour. And um, it's very quiet last night in Glasgow. Um, which I do some preaching sometimes in the city. And it was a very strange one because, you know, the weather was very poor last night and I thought, why would the Lord want us to go out in this? But I felt as, we felt as if God wanted to, us to go out. And really that's about... I got a little bit more change later on, but uh, this is about really all I, I got that night. Usually sometimes people buy my CDs. So it just struck me that, you know, maybe th does this mean... Is this talking about... You know, on top of all of this, that at the moment, you know, the dollar is the, um, you know, is, is the rate of exchange in the world just now. You know, the dollar is still the main rate of exchange, even though China has taken over production, has taken over, you know, the uh, per capita, the actual value of China is now greater than, than the United States. And so it seems imminent that perhaps the dollar is, is, is going to crash at some point, which many of us have been speculating for, for a while. And I just wonder that if my dream and just the, you know, the, the events which unfolded last night is, 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 is almost like a, a warning from the Lord that indeed the, the, the collapse of the dollar is very imminent. And um, there's a lot of videos about the Bitcoin. It's been very, very heavily promoted the past uh, four or five years. Um, so it seems it, it could it could even take over as a world currency. Yeah. Who knows what's about to happen? But we're going to have something happening. I think uh, within the next twelve months, I would say. And so, what's what's the warning? I would say, if you're rich, um, do not trust in your riches. Your riches are going to fail. Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. Thanks for listening.